All right. Uh, I don't know if it's going to come up in uh, the latest debate as we take uh, battleground states where it's is, you know, getting hotter and hotter uh, with each passing day. Uh, but in case you didn't hear, and a lot of you probably did not, uh, the jobless claims dropped to a filing of about 787,000 Americans. That's very high, but it's the lowest we've seen since the earliest days of the pandemic back in April uh, and March of, of, of this year. I should also point out that while we talk about a lot of job losses, more than half the 20 million loss at the height of the pandemic have been made back a point, no doubt. Uh, my next guest wants to expand on a little bit here. The Eugene Scalia is his name, the uh, Secretary of Labor for the United States of America. Secretary, very good to have you. Um, this trend surprised even the most bullish of economists, particularly when it came to this claims number. I know these can be volatile data, but what did you make of it? Neil, good to be with you. Uh, it, it is good news. Uh, what we saw was the initial claims, that is the uh, initial filings for unemployment benefits um, uh, last week were reported at a number uh, 110,000 fewer than the reported number just a week before. Uh, that's progress. What we also see is that the continuing claims, that is, people who are actually on unemployment, that number continues to drop significantly week to week. We know now that uh, basically in the month of September, about 3 million people went out, went off of unemployment. So these are very good trends. But let, let me say, uh, I continue to think that the more significant report has been the monthly uh, employment report that our Bureau of Labor Statistics puts out. Uh, that has uh, shown the job market coming back so much more quickly than was uh, uh, being expected back in April. You know, Neil, when you and I were having some conversations back in April and May, and uh, I thought we could get under 10 percent unemployment by December, very few people thought that. Uh, we know that we're well ahead of that now. Just one last report that I would mention that I think is really interesting, we put out a couple of days ago. This is state unemployment. And what we learned is that more than half the states actually are below 7% unemployment right now. At, uh, the, more than half are at 67 or below. What we see is that a handful of very large states have much higher unemployment. So California... 11% unemployment in September. They brought it down just 0.2 from August. New York, Illinois, right up around 10% unemployment. Those are three of our five largest states. You factor those out nationwide, th these figures uh, look much better. So we obviously have a ways to go still. Uh, th th these numbers are higher than we want, but they show a very, very strong trend together with good uh, other good economic news that we're seeing, including today's existing home sales report. Yeah, that was off the charts. Um, you know, and the fact that they're up almost 10 percent and then and one out of four of these homes were selling in less than a month, which is unprecedented. But having said that, I, I know you try to skew politics, but I've talked to many Republicans, uh, Secretary, who have been saying that's the kind of stuff the president should pound tonight. Mike Huckabee, among other prominent Republicans, saying as strongly as you feel, Mr. President, about the Biden emails and the New York Post story. Um, it, it, it's not resonating. This kind of stuff, improvement on the jobs front, the economy, to your point, the existing home sales and other home sales front, that's the kind of stuff that is. Uh, do you think that's true, that that's what he should be pounding tonight? Well, like I said, Neil, I, 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 uh, in my capacity as uh, secretary, I, uh, I don't do politics. But, but I'll say this, that you, you're right that this is very good news. Um, that it's much better economic news than was being uh, projected at the start of the uh, pandemic. Let me, let me remind you that uh, during the last uh, downturn, the financial crisis, 2009, 2010, it took nearly three years, 34 months to get unemployment under eight and a half percent. We got unemployment under eight and a half percent in four months from uh, May to August. So uh, President Trump built an extraordinary economy uh, in those first three years, it was projected that we would add around 2 million jobs. He added seven. So we built this amazing economy that was a very inclusive economy. There have been some important reports that have come so maybe, out recently. Yeah, maybe, maybe, pound, maybe pound that. I, I, I see where you're coming or without saying it outright. Um, but, but Secretary, I, I'd be remiss in, in hearkening back to your wonderful dad, uh, Anthony Scalia, former Supreme Court justice. You've heard what happened today in the Judiciary Committee where Democrats on that committee boycotted the hearing. 
denying um, Republicans the quorum they would technically need to carry forward. Uh, Lindsey Graham and the Republicans went ahead with the vote anyway, sent it to the full Senate for a vote on Monday, presumably without any Democratic members. Um, what do you think of all of this? Well, it was a unanimous vote, uh, and she deserves that. Um, I, this is uh, more good news today uh, that she's cleared the committee, that she'll head toward the floor. Uh, yes, uh, Amy Barrett, that you know, did clerk for my father. Uh, uh, he thought very highly of her, would be very pleased. I know my mother's uh, thrilled for her. Uh, she's, uh, I think the American people have seen, uh, just just an admirable, exemplary person. Uh, as a judge, jurist, uh, she was uh, just uh, so sharp in that hearing. Uh, but, uh, but, but as you, all as around, you pointed out, as you pointed out, it, Secretary, was well, well, unanimous with Republican votes, but it's the first time in American history the other party has not voted at all. Um, it, it, uh, would your dad be worried about the signal that sends, or is it just a sign of our times and maybe a sign of coming attractions down the road? Well, my father did speak to this a little bit, Neil, and what he said was that as judges uh, unmoor themselves from the words of the statute, uh, delink the work they're doing from the text and original meaning of the Constitution, and just decide to enact their uh, personal policy views in their decisions, uh, then the courts will become embroiled more in politics. Uh, that's why being adhering to the text of the law, uh, adhering to the original meaning and text of the Constitution were so important to him. Uh, th that's why, uh, you know, I think they're important to uh, Judge Barrett. She understands the role of a judge. And I, I do, I think the kind of politics you do see around the court is a reflection on, uh, it's one of the errors that results when judges uh, uh, inject themselves into political controversies, into hot policy disputes, rather than just sticking to what's in the Constitution and in the statutes and letting people amend the Constitution where they feel they need to. All right. Well put. Uh, Mr. Secretary, very good seeing you again. Be well, be safe, be healthy. Uh, Eugene Scalia, yes. the uh, Labor Secretary nice of the United 20. States of America.